Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Are you an introvert? Extrovert? Are you an introvert who's curious about what qualities might be more compatible with your introverted self? Or maybe you're an extrovert who has an introverted partner. What might they need from you in a relationship? Well, here are six things introverts need in a partner. Number one, someone who is comfortable with silence. Ah, <sighs> sweet silence. Is there anything quite like it? To some extroverts, silence can be intimidating or awkward, but introverts don't always wanna spend their time talking. Sometimes just being in the same room as their partner makes them feel happy and connected. So while you may be having a cozy dinner together, don't worry if there's a long pause while eating your delightful cuisine. They might just not feel like talking at the moment, but value spending time with you. Or the food's just really good. Less talk, more eating. Number two, a good listener. Are you a good listener? Who doesn't love someone who can be there for them when they need to vent or are having a tough day? Some active listening and reassurance can go a long way, especially for introverts. Why do introverts value great listeners? Well, since they don't often open up to strangers or acquaintances, they spend most of their time talking with their closest friends and loved ones, especially their partners. Introverts can spend a great deal of time in their head, coming up with interesting ideas and theories. Who are they going to tell these theories to? If they tell anyone, it's likely that it's going to be a loved one or their partner, which is where you come in. Both of you can listen and share your thoughts with each other. And if there's a bit of silence afterward, no problem. Number three, someone who values quality time. Do you enjoy quality time? Introverts may just wanna spend some of their days with you doing simple things and really getting to know you in the process. Perhaps you'll both go on a walk together or have a calm day of shopping and browsing the markets. A simple evening hanging out with your family and good old Uncle Joe. Perhaps you'll spend your mornings having tea and baking biscuits. Mm, good combo. Whatever it is you do, the simple quality time together can be just as good as the exciting and busy days out. Number four, someone who understands personal space and alone time. Do you enjoy your alone time? As much as you may love your partner, Sometimes you just gotta be alone. Introverts often need time alone to recharge. Their energy can sometimes get drained quickly when socializing with others or spending more time in crowded groups. So in return, perhaps at the end of a long day, they just need some time to unwind and relax. If you notice they wanna spend some time alone in their room one day and are wondering if you did something wrong, ask yourself this first. Did you recently do something that may have upset them or are they just being an introvert? Who doesn't love some peaceful time alone? Ah, recharging. Number five, a love for deep conversations. Who needs small talk? To an introvert, small talk can be a great bore. It's not great, but it is greatly boring. It may make them simply feel a bit awkward having to force a bit of small talk when someone initiates the dreaded, can you believe this weather? Instead, they value the deeper conversations they have with their partner. Talk about your ideas, your goals, what you enjoyed about that film, that book, that trip. Don't be afraid to hold back the inner thoughts of your mind that keep you restless in the wee hours of the night. Let them out. You may find you both have something else in common. So if you're not often looking to talk about deeper things than the weather, then, well, you may have a stormy relationship ahead. <laughs> See what I did there? Huh? No? Oh. And number six, someone who can take things slow at first. When you start a relationship, do you want to take things slow? Some relationships move fast. One minute you're exchanging numbers, the next you're moving in together and introducing them to your old uncle named Joe. Why is Joe always around? Introverts may simply need more time to open up to others. They want to feel comfortable in your presence before opening up about what truly makes them, them. So go on a few casual fun dates, hang out together, get to know each other, and in due time, you may just be moving in together and meeting good old Uncle Joe. So do you have a crush on an introvert? Are you an introvert? What is it that you look for in a partner? Let us know in the comments. We wanna hear from you. Just not about the weather. Yeah, we get it, it's raining. Although I do love the rain. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with an introvert or extrovert. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? 
get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go, and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.